watch the light as it set from the sun All the ways we could run, all the ways we could run Oh my, yeah, can you see the light from outer space? Okay, we are back at our seventh heat of men's round number four. Up in the red, that's Roberto Bruno from Brazil. Yeah, Roberto Bruno is another rider from the north of Brazil, same <coughs> same state from um, Fabio Rodriguez. He was uh, weird up there, right? The guys in Florianopolis, they're strange, right? Yeah, they're really strange, man. <laughs> no. Well, I know, like, um, I've had some, some uh, an altercation with Neko Paterats in Hawaii. Okay. He's kind of a strange guy. Even the other Brazilians say, oh, he's a weirdo. Yeah, um... I don't, I don't know. Yeah, they they different. <laughs> oh, that's the first wave of Diego Cabrera. He got a 575 for that wave. He d okay. <laughs> but looking good there on that opening wave and a, a very comfortable wave for him. And Roberto Bruno with a 6.13 on his opening wave. So good scores opening for Diego and Roberto. Sergio Alonso, the Venezuelan rider, got a wave and not much of a score on it, a 0.88. As we see, Roberto's replay. Roberto uh, was a right last year. He was in the top 16, and he didn't make his top 16. So now he's trying to qualify again. He's an amazing rider from Brazil. Uh, he's five times uh, Brazilian champion, national champion. Crazy. Our rider in yellow, Diego Cabrera from the Canaries. And Diego's a guy who's a uh, muy fuerte. And uh, and he's brave, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's brave. He has so many so many injuries over the years in yeah. Enrica yeah. at Gringo, and he just keeps going. Keeps going, man. That guy's tough. Uh, yeah, that was uh, the rider in white, Gaston Rojas from Chile. Calani Latanz e Fábio Rodrigues. Calani Latanz, muito feliz. O Fábio, infelizmente, não conseguiu passar na bateria. Esperou muito, eu creio. So to Fabio, I'm sorry, Kalani. Para banks, Kalani. Para banks. Muito bem. <laughs> In blue, Sergio Alonso from Venezuela. This guy is amazing. Setting up for a bold section. The wave didn't quite do it for him. Still looking yeah. for a barrel. <laughs> yeah, Sergio Alonso is from Venezuela. He's a you know very talented rider. He's amazing. You know, Diego Cabrera from Canary Island, another amazing rider. Yeah, and on his opening wave, he gets a 5.75 for this big roll. Good size roll punching through there. I think that was his se second score already. I think. Possibly. Scores still coming through, and as soon as we have all the scores, we will update you on the situation. Quite an international field. Brazil, Canary Islands, Chile, and Venezuela all represented in this heat. So a great example of a uh, a great example of uh, how international the bodyboard tour is. And so Diego Cabrera, you were right. That was the second wave. We got a 6.13. So he has a 5.7 and a 6.1. Roberto Bruno with a 6.1. Sergio Alonso and Gaston Rojas have some work to do. Yes. This is a really tough heat, you know, the conditions are challenging and, you know. So, we have Kalani Latanzi down on the beach with Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo's going to have a little word with him. What's up, Yo-Yo? On hit number five, and this is Kalani Latanzi just winning the last hit. Oh, Kalani, muito obrigado. Como que foi aquela bateria aí? It was a good hit, Kalani. Foi uma bateria bem disputada, três brasileiros. E um português, well, o Fábio, muito bom. Estou muito feliz de ter passado em primeiro, cara. 
Muy felizmente. Oh, he said that it was a hard hit because he was three Brazilians and one, pe one guy from Portugal. But he said that he's really happy to get on the next hit. Oh, Cavani, como que, que tu acha da cúpula de cristal en comparación do gringo? What do you What do you think about this wave to compare to the el, del gringo? O gringo é uma onda mais perigosa, né? E tem uma direita, aqui não tem direita. Tem, dá até para achar uma direita, mas a onda é uma esquerda e é menos perigosa. Muito incrível, incrível. Aqui é muito bom. He also think, said that here is a really good spot, but the gringo is very special and has a, a different break. Uh, thanks very much, Kalani. Muito obrigado, Kalani. Se quiser dizer mais uma coisa para o Brasil, if you like to tell something else to the, your, your people in Brasil? Pô, galera que tá torcendo para mim, muito obrigado. Sou muito grato a vocês por torcerem por mim. Um beijo, mamãe. Um beijo, Camila. Amo vocês. He is saying thanks everybody in home and I'm back to you Eric, I'm back to you with the guys in the booth. Thanks guys. Gracias. Okay, we are back. Thank you so much, Yo-Yo. Once again, heat number seven of the fourth round of the men's here at the 2013 Antofagasta Bodyboard Festival presented by Budeo Bodyboard Club and Revel. I am your IBA host with the most, Eric Apple, joined by, of course, Brazilian bodyboard sensation, Magno Passos. And we are having a good time in the water. In first place is Diego Cabrera, the man from the Canaries who's always uh, just completely unafraid to lay it on the line. Roberto Bruno in second, the Brazilian. And in third and fourth, Sergio Alonso and Gaston Rojas bringing up the rear. We're having a good time here in Chile. We've uh, been here for quite a while and uh, enjoying everything Chile has to offer from Arica in the very, very uh, north near the border of Peru. And now we move down to Antofagasta here, more towards the, the center of the country. Yeah, Antofagasta is a nice place. My first time here and it's, you know, it's a bigger city than Arica. A little bit colder, the water feels colder as well. And it's a beautiful place, you know, just another place that I would like to come every year for the two. Certainly, and, and the, the scenery has been so amazing. And the, these huge mountains right here on the water, and the desert here, the, uh, it's, it's just amazing. There's some, of the, some of the driest places in the earth. This is the Atacama Desert. There's so much culture here, and the, it's some of the oldest civilizations in the world. I mean, when we were in Arica, I was going to the museums, and, and there's 10,000-year-old mummies. That was incredible, man. I went, over, I went over there as well with my wife, and it was just like, man, I can't believe this is happening, you know. You went to the museum? To the museum, yeah. Very cool. So amazing, crazy. It's also cool to see uh, some of the artifacts. I mean, the hair brushes, yes. the makeup brushes, the clothes. I mean, they were, they were very advanced a long time ago, the people here. Yeah, yeah, that was really interesting, you know. I think uh, and it's nice, you can see like how they first started and then they got you know, developing through the years and how it's, how it's done today. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely very interesting. Um, and it's, it's another great part about being, you know, on the IBA tour. We go, you know, Australia, Hawaii, here two stops in Chile. Uh, we get to go to, to, uh, to Brazil, to your home country and, and enjoy that. You know, also Puerto Rico, Reunion Island. Canaries, so it's awesome that we get to enjoy each other's cultures. Yes, it is, man. Take a look at a set out the back. Magno, who is going to be in position, or are they going to get caught inside? It's a pretty big set. No, I don't think so. Over halfway through the heat, metage, metage. Metage da bateria. Uh, Diego Cabrera em primeiro, com 575 e um 613. Roberto Bruno em segundo com apenas uma onda, 6.13. O Sérgio Alonso com duas ondas, uma 0.88 e um 3.5. E o Gaston Rojas com 2.13. Ali é o Wellington Loureiro alongando. Ele que está na próxima bateria, na última bateria deste round. Um ótimo atleta também do Brasil. Vai dar muito trabalho aí. So tell us about our uh, next GSS event, Ito Katara. Man, Ico Itacoatiara Itacoatiara is the you know, best place in Brazil for bodyboarding. Okay, up in white, that is Gaston Rojas. He only has a 2.13, so he's definitely looking to improve upon that. Look at this barrel ride. Too deep, couldn't quite backdoor the section all the way. If he makes this barrel, it's like, definitely like a high score, for sure. It's not easy to get out of the barrel, though. 
Uh, yeah, Itacoatiara, I think you're gonna. Have you been to Itacoatiara? Nope. Man, you're gonna love it. It's just like amazing beach, beautiful people, you know, amazing waves. Perfect for bodyboarding. Big, big beach break, big barrels. Yeah. Warm water. Warm water. Now, here we are, our rider in blue, Sergio Alonso, the Venezuelan. <laughs> big roll. Oh. Nice cutback reverse right there. He's in the critical section. He's in the pocket. Look at this, getting steep again. Oh. Oh, my oh. goodness. Sergio Alonso going to get a good score out of that way for sure. <laughs> Sergio Alonso is a, is like a machine, you know, that guy. He's very small and, you know, very talented. He can do, you know, big scores. So let's take a look at Sergio Alonso, the Venezuelan rider. Hit a 3.5 and a .88 before, so he's definitely going to bump up big here into advancing position. Nice roll into a cutback reverse, and the wave gets steep again for him, Magno. Yeah, he, was, he did everything he could, you know, probably the best wave of the heat so far. <coughs> for sure it was, and waiting for a score to come through for Sergio. Provavelmente a melhor onda da bateria até agora para o Sérgio Alonso, depois dessa última onda aí, ainda esperando pela, pelo score. So he's going to paddle back out feeling good about that. He only needed a 2.6 to move up into second position. He's definitely going to be getting that. And there it is, a 7.05 for Sergio Alonso. He has a 7.05 and a 3.5. So, man, in red, up and riding, Roberto Bruno, the Brasileiro. Roberto vindo com muita velocidade ali, e dá um rolo muito forte na última sessão. Onda muito boa, ele abriu com 360. Vamos ver como é que vai ser essa, essa onda aí. Provavelmente ele vai para primeiro ou para segundo na bateria. So, Roberto Bruno needs a 4.43 to move on up. It looks like he will be getting that, I would say, or close to it. He only had one wave as we take a little replay. Sets up with a forward spin, comes around the section and waits for the lip to hit him, and it does. Wow, that was, a, you know, really well written wave for sure. He's probably okay. going to go... 6.13. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 6.13 for Roberto Bruno. So he has two scores of 6.13. In first place, Diego Cabrera in second with a 5.75 and a 6.1. Sergio Alonso has a nice score of a 7.05, but a real low score of a 3.5. So he only needs a 4.83 to move Diego Cabrera down. And Gaston Rojas with two scores of 2.1 is needing some help. Yes, definitely. Uh, five minutes remaining and uh, Roberto Bruno acabou de ir para primeiro agora na bateria depois dessa última onda. Bateria vai pegar fogo nesses últimos segundos. Com certeza podem haver mudanças. E vamos esperar aí. Agora o Diego Cabrera precisa de 5.14 para ir para primeiro. A Sérgio Alonso precisando de 4.83 para segundo. E o Gaston Rojas com 2.13 e um 2.13, precisando de 9.75, faltando 5 minutos para o término da bateria. So, 5 minutes exactly to go. We are in the waning minutes of heat number 7 of the men's round number 4. <coughs> Again, Eric Albo joined by Magno Passos, the Brazilian sensation. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> hey, did you surf for Arica? Eric. I did. I did one time in white. This is Gaston Rojas. He needs some help. He is the Chileno rider trying to impress his countrymen. Wow. And that's not going to be enough. He needs a, a 9.75 to get up or a combination of waves. Still over four minutes to go, but time is certainly winding down for him. The pressure is now on. So again, the Brasileiro, Roberto Bruno in first, Diego Cabrera in second. But Sergio Alonso, he is in striking distance. He only needs a 4.83. Bateria muito apertada. Faltando 4 minutos para o término. E a gente vê a última onda do branco aqui. Gaston. Rojas. Punching through that, 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 that lip right there on a roll. He gets a 4.6. So a decent score. He needs now a 7.2 to move up, but that's a pretty high score. That would be the highest uh, scoring wave of the heat. 
<coughs> so it is possible now for Gaston. If he yes. gets a good barrel and a roll, he could move up, but he's yep. in a tough position still. With three yes. minutes and 20 seconds to go in the 31st heat of the men's competition here. So how was your, uh, how was your first surfing, Norika? Did you like? Um, the bottom is hard. <laughs> the rock is definitely tough. Oh, my goodness. I hit it first time. Really? Wow. Arika is crazy. I caught a, a, a good-sized set on the lefts and made the first section barrel, came out, the second section barrel, and pushed straight down to the bottom. The oh second section is so shallow. I didn't know. Yeah. I thought only when you get close to the rocks, but even maybe 40 meters out, it's still shallow. It's too shallow, man. I hit it so many times, the rock over there, like with my head, with my neck, all the, all the parts of my body. Yeah, Crazy. I hit with my with my butt. Yeah, is it sore still? Like here. Yeah, very sore. Wow. Arika, I say to my friends that is like the MMA, MMA for a body boy. You know, a lot of guys get hurt. Yeah, it's definitely tough. Faltando dois minutos para o termo da bateria. Also, it's, you have to learn the wave, I think, a little bit because a lot of water is moving, and also the waves are relatively difficult to catch, right? It's not. It's not like other waves where it's True, for me yeah. normally it's e I have a, a easy time catching waves, but it's hard for me to catch waves yeah, there. There's the water is. sucking out. It difficult. Is, yeah. yeah, the way you position yourself over there is you know very, very critical. Very critical. So one minute forty four seconds to go. <laughs> this position has not changed. Alberto Bruno still in first. Diego Cabrera, the man from the Canaries, in second. Sergio Alonso in third. Hill needs a four point eight. Gaston Roas in fourth, he needs a 7.2. So blue and white are going to be looking for something. Alberto Bruno, your heat leader on the wave. A little oh. flip. Ay, ay, ay. Nice. Cut back into the forward right there. Oh, another roll section. Whoa. That's going to definitely improve his second score. Well, he has a 6.2 and a 6.1, so it's possible. It's interesting. That's only his third wave in the, in the heat, you know. He's been very patient. Yes. So waiting for that score to come through at 38 seconds. And man, Sergio Alonso and Gaston Rojas, can they catch a wave? That's a replay. <coughs> Um RS lá fora, a gente vê que ele abriu diferente essa, essa onda. Um 360, espera pela sessão, dá um outro 360 cortando ali e finaliza com o um rolo. A buzina acaba de suar aqui para o final da bateria, provavelmente não vai haver mudanças. Cabrera, look at that. Wow! A flip and an ARS yeah. on the inside in the white water. Gaston Rojas, he needs a 7.2. I don't think he's going to find it on this wave. So that's going to be it. Okay, Eric. Thank, thank you, man. You, man. Thank you very much for joining me, my Brasilero No friend. problema, no problema. Gracias. <laughs> Again, take a look at the replay, the last wave of Diego Cabrera's scores coming through. Diego got a 5.68 on that wave. Sergio Alonso, man, just so close, not able to advance. So winning the heat, Roberto Bruno and Diego Cabrera. And we are going to be starting the final heat of men's round number four action. And before we get that heat started, we are going to throw it to a commercial from our local sponsors who make this event possible. And without them, uh, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> 